Our team is sitting down with world-renowned scholar, linguist, author, and MIT professor, Noam Chomsky. Professor Chomsky, thank you very much for taking time to speak with our team. Glad to be with you. The first issue I want to speak with you about is uh, the recent clashes that have taken place on Wall Street between Americans who are turning out uh, to demonstrate and police officers. From what I read, you recently sent a message to uh, support the activists of this group called Occupy Wall Street. You've called them courageous and honorable. Can you talk to me about your take on Occupy Wall Street? Well, the, uh, Wall Street is just a shorthand for the financial institutions. Mm -hmm. uh, the banks are bigger and richer than before. Uh, corporate profits are reaching record levels, and for much of and uh, unemployment today is about the level of the Great Depression. Real unemployment. So these people are saying, "No, let's blame the culprits and the institutions behind them." So fiscal policies like taxation, uh, uh, rules of corporate governance, uh, deregulation, and so on. It does set in motion a vicious cycle, which is getting worse and worse in New York. So walk down the streets, and you can see it. Uh, very serious poverty. On the other hand, phenomenal wealth, yes. right side by side, very much like a third world country. It's what you see if you go to sub-Saharan Africa. You know. Meanwhile, infrastructure is collapsing, uh, schools are collapsing, uh, and all of that increases the, uh, 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 it keeps the cycle going and, in fact, rising. Well, it's about time for some protest. What may be new in the coming year for the 2012 election is that many, including yourself, have speculated and, and assumed that uh, the campaign spending for the U.S. election in 2012 will exceed one billion dollars for each for candidate. Each candidate, that is a massive amount. It will probably be much bigger than that. And where does that come from? Well, you know, basically a lot of it comes from financial institutions. In fact, if you look at the 2008 election, what swung Obama, what gave him the election was primarily financial institution uh, contributions. They preferred him to McCain. They expected to be paid back, and they were. Uh, and the next one will be even worse. Incidentally, that's only a part of it. In parliamentary systems, including our own up till maybe 20 years ago, uh, positions of influence in a functioning parliament parliamentary system, let's say a chair of a committee, uh, comes from principle, at least, from experience, seniority, uh, uh, legislative contributions, and so on. That's gone. Now they're bought. If you, if you want to become chair of a committee in, in the House or the Senate, you have to pay off the party. You have to pay for it. Uh, where do you get the money to pay for it? Same pockets. You know? So uh, it provides even more influence to the already overwhelming influence of concentrated capital. So it's harder and harder to distinguish between the elected officials and uh, uh, economic concentration. It never was easy to distinguish, I should say. This is not something novel. Uh, but now it's uh, reaching an extreme level. Well, what's left of America's democratic system if this is the process that has been cemented in place? I mean, well, what is really left if, if from every angle there's these right now, financial influences? Well, just take a look at public opinion. They'll tell you. Uh, about two-thirds of the public thinks that the entire Congress ought to be thrown out. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it's going to happen. No, but it means that the system isn't working, uh, and the public knows it. Uh, uh, the uh, popularity of uh, favorability rating for Congress is in single digits. Mm -hmm. uh, president not much higher, and the same runs across all other institutions. Mm -hmm. It's a very widespread sense that everything is going wrong. Mm -hmm. That tells you the democratic system is just not functioning. Now, in fact, I don't want to suggest that this is totally new. So you, you go back a century, and you can still predict throughout all this period pretty well uh, the outcome of elections by campaign funding. But there are degrees, uh, and now it's gotten extreme. Uh, the uh, levels to which the U.S. has departed from other capitalist societies.